Hi, James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to share and celebrate this wine with you today. A familiar label, I'm sure to many of you out there. This is Cupcakes Riesling, and this is from the Mosul Valley, so from Germany, 2011 vintage and a 10% alcohol content wine, so super low in alcohol, really familiar packaging that some, not all Rieslings from Germany do come in a blue package. Back panel for your inspection. Now, I think Riesling is just an amazing varietal, and it comes in so many variations. And there becomes somewhat of a, um, uh, not necessarily a problem, but an opportunity, better way of saying that, is that Riesling can be extremely dry, bone dry, all the way to a little sweetness, to a lot of sweetness. So what you're seeking is maybe things you've thought as Riesling as a wine is just a sweet wine. It is not. In this example here, we all pair back and say this has some residual sugar to it. So according to what your tastes are, you may or may not like this wine based on what your sugar content uh, requirements are. So if you're seeking bone dry, this may not be the wine for you. But if you're seeking something to maybe pair with um, maybe after dinner, um, your, your after dinner drink, your dessert, so cheesecake would go extremely well with this. Your beginning course, so maybe you're having Cajun uh, crab cakes, you might want to pair it with this. So there's a different way of thinking about this. Now this wine is not expensive. I believe it's about 12 USD, widely distributed in the United States. So you'll find this in many locations. And, um, you know, pick up a bottle and accordingly pick it with what you're seeking. So if you really want to drink this on its own and you like a little residual sugar, then this is definitely try that, do that. Uh, but also keep in mind that this may be something you really want to pair with food. I would do that for my sake. I'm not an off-dry um, person. I definitely like dry wines. And so if I'm going to have something a little off-dry, I'm going to pair it with food. So I'm going to take a taste and tell you what this wine is like. Beautiful notes of Spitzenberg apple, Thomas pear, almond, hint of nutmeg, lemon zest, and a bit of honey on the finish. This is an 8.8 .8 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Mail, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.